SpaceX appears to have brought the video back, so we are now under 40 seconds planned liftoff. And we did hear that call out that we are go for launch, so things are in fact on track. Less than 30 seconds to the plant liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket. 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket supporting the Starlink 6-38 mission. The vehicle has cleared the tower. The first of what is poised to be a SpaceX doubleheader. Now well on its way. We're now 30 seconds into flight. Let's listen to the roar of those nine Merlin engines. coming up on a minute into flight. Falcon 9 supersonic traveling faster than the speed of sound. Getting some great tracking views. This view from our cameras here at the press site. This is from Pete Carson's with Max-Q Productions as the vehicle is passing through Max-Q. The point is the greatest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Coming up on MVAC chill down, where they thermally condition the Merlin. You hear that call out? They're thermally conditioning the MVAC engine ahead of its planned ignition. As the clouds have cleared away, we're getting some great clear tracking views from our team here. We just saw Pete. This is Chuck. Pete again. Now for two minutes into flight, we're approaching main engine cutoff or Miko. The nine Merlin engines will shut down, followed by stage separation and the ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine. With the jettison of the payloads coming up shortly thereafter. And you see Miko there, stage separation. And ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine. You can see a little bit of the glint of that first stage booster as it fell away. Before the engine ignites, you can see the Space Coast and the delayed SpaceX views, the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Coming up on fairing separation in just a few seconds. You see those payload fairings falling away in Pete's live views. We'll see the same thing in the SpaceX feed momentarily. And there you see those Starlink satellites now exposed to the vacuum of space for the first time. Well, not quite the sunset launch we were hoping to see tonight. Still getting some pretty brilliant color. As the Merlin vacuum engine continues to power the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. That first stage, tail number B1062, starting to make its way back down towards the drone ship of shortfall gravitas. We're now T plus four minutes, seven seconds and counting into the flight. Coming up next, 
will be the first stage entry burn, which will last 23 seconds, starting at T plus 6 minutes and 10 seconds, a little under 2 minutes from now. Now coming up on five minutes into flight. Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Very good call out from SpaceX as the flight continues to move along nominally a little over five minutes into this mission. We're now less than a minute away from the first stage entry burn beginning. shifting away from Pete for just a moment as he's getting a position to hopefully be able to get a glimpse of that entry burn. We'll come back to him in just a few seconds. Both stages are on a nominal trajectory. That entry burn coming up in about four seconds. And there you see that entry burn beginning. My friend Pete Carson. Stage one MTSS safe. Getting this brilliant 23 second burn now. Seeing that begin on the SpaceX feed as well. This stage will entry burn start up. With that entry burn wrapped up, the next milestones are going to be far enough stage away. FTSS and low enough on the horizon that unfortunately we won't be able to see them with our ground cameras, so we'll be relying on SpaceX's onboard views at this point. We're now seven minutes into this flight. Coming up, our next milestone will be the landing burn. Both vehicles are following. Burn check on. Falcon 9 first stage booster. Coming back down. Although Pete uh, looks like, well, just falling out of frame with did have the Merlin vacuum engine continuing on its burn. And he's got it back now. Well done, Pete. A little over seven and a half minutes into flight. Coming up on that landing burn, which will begin at 8.05 minutes into flight. Stage one, transonic. Just as a bit of housekeeping, our countdown clock, or our, our mission clock, is in real time. SpaceX running about 10 or so seconds behind, which is why you're seeing these events happen first on our views and then on the SpaceX feed. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. You see that landing burn now underway coming up. We'll see the drone ship should be appearing on the right-hand side. There we go. Stage one, landing light deploy. And touchdown. Stage one, landing confirmed. Booster 1062 now joining the 18 launch and landing club. Coming up closer and closer to the shot down. milestone set previously by the 